What's going on, Super Auto Gamers? We're gonna be doing the weekly this week, but I just wanna show off some of my uh, builds I've been cooking up. Uh, specifically last night, I had a couple almost 10 wins with uh, interesting-ish squads. I think I'm giving up on the puppy because this was like the best puppy run I've ever had. And we still only got nine wins on turn 15. <laughs> Um, but the squirrel, the level 3 squirrel and sauropod combo was pretty good. We were just missing some other scaling components. And the food this week isn't too great. I don't want any frilled dragons, honestly, because there's one faint pet starting and it doesn't do anything <laughs> because there's no, there's no trumpets in tier 1. So that's kind of what we're hoping for, is just like a semi-beefy duck, anti-moth technology off the rip. There's two discombobulated housewives. That sounds... Give me some holy eyes. <laughs> discombobulated housewives has some uh, unintended uh, presumptions about it. And that's exactly why we do the anti-moth technology, because we're going to get a big juicy dub out of it. Um, I don't want the goose i don't know why i hate the goose so much i just like don't respect it at all so if you just want to hit the duck that'd be great thank you i will get the goose because as disrespectful of uh the goose as i am i like levels this could be good as long as we get a goose or a duck or another otter in our shop then we can combine these guys level up level up the otter and then get like a cute little 1-1 one, one buff on a unit or if we get a really good tier 3 we can sell the ducks and then just have a beefy unit which isn't always the best um we didn't quite get what we were looking for so let's roll once and this this is fine Get the blowfish. This is better. This is fine, like truly. For a four squad, this is a lot of stats. I'm I'm totally okay with it. Ooh, the goose actually showing off its prowess by getting a two for one only because of itself. <laughs> um really probably the only thing it can be good for. And good lord, we're getting so many otters. I'll do it, just hit the blow- okay. The blowfish has the most stay ability, but now the duck does, because it's a 7-8! And the goose kind of does too, because he's pretty big. T uh, I guess a, a hedgehog would have been pretty good here. But I never do this. This is going to be crazy. An elephant-blowfish combo. I've not done this since like, day three of playing Super Auto Pets. <laughs> Which is crazy. It's gonna work out. We're gonna get two triggers on it, which is pretty sick. That's unfortunate, but we're still gonna come out uh, with a win. Fortunately, and that's really due to our our big old otter. Um, we have tier four. Okay. Of each level, we almost have a level three, so the scaling could really go off. We want him to hit the blowfish, and I forget if it works left to right, or if it works um, by attack number, but I think we'll get rid of the goose, get the dragonfly, because you're at least buffing two units, which is totally fine. And hope we see an otter? Hedgehog could be better than the elephant. And garlic on the blowfish is great. I think for now, we'll just put garlic on the blowfish. I don't think we're going to try to level up the duck. Hit the good, hit the units we wanted. I don't really want to get the level 3 uh, otter to be buffed, um, but it'd be nice just to wow. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate, but we're still going to come out with a loss. Oops. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, that's that's our first loss on turn six. I, I think we're doing good. And I think this means that the elephant should go in favor of a hedgehog, which 
I was about to say ideally combos with a bat, but I don't know if that's actually the case. We're going to garlic up you because you are definitely sticking around. And now that I'm seeing more bats, I'm more likely to take it. But for now, let's buff the blowfish and hope duck and blowfish. Thank you. That's exactly what I want. And I think it is, I think it is uh, uh, left to right, which is backwards to me because the camera's backwards, but I'm doing it for you. This guy's got the swag hat. What is that hat actually called? I don't think I have it. <laughs> so I'm really, I'm really curious to see. Um, I never juice a dragonfly as much. And I'm like, I'm ready to sell the otter, I think. He's, yeah, I, I think we have to at this point. And if I do it like this, the otter or the bat will take the buff from the blowfish. So we have to do it like this as a later, a later game anti-moth technology, I guess. Canned food to make our pivots better. That's exactly what we want. And that means that we start getting the duck to level three. And no, we're not on chocolate yet, but. I'm not going to waste money on the canned food. We need to invest in our squad now more than... Oh, maybe it is random, because then he just hit the... He just hit the hedgehog. Oh, well. Hedgehog is going to really hurt that baboon. Once we get the level 2 bat, I think we're going to be really cooking. Um... Oh, the raccoon that works. Oh, I hated it. Oh, that was so evil. Level 2 bat makes our hedgehog, like, way better. I'm not even going to consider the goat. Whichever one of you gets the level 3 first is ideal. Um, so we can start getting actual buffs out of our dragonfly. And then maybe a level 2 dragonfly would be cool. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's so great. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love the squirrels you're trying to pull, but I mean... Sorry. <laughs> Oh, okay. A monkey would be pretty nice. But I don't want the monkey getting the buff, like, at all from the dragonfly. Ooh, it's tough. It's tough. Because honestly, at this point, a poodle would work way better than a dragonfly. <laughs> a monkey is always good scaling. And Tim would be really mad at me if I didn't take the monkey. And because we got, what, one, two... Sell the hedgehog. Three. Wait, what if we sold the hedgehog? For the poodle for sure. Because you're buffing everyone right now. And you're buffing two units. So it's between the dragonfly and the monkey. Do we want... I'll roll once. I think I'd rather commit to the bat level three. Um... It's tough, it's tough, because the dragonfly is buffing a combination of you guys. But if we did it like this, we started really juicing our duck. It'd be better, I think. But I still want to get the bat to level 3. And chili is pretty good, especially on the bat. Yeah, it's, it's just more scaling. More numbers equal more wins. Hopefully. Still only at six wins. Oh, we don't have the hedgehog to really combo with the bat. Not that it matters. We're still going to dub ski this up. Thanks to the poodle. Combo the bat. And I'll put the bat at the front. It's melon breaker. It's, uh, is there even melon? There's turtle. It's Melon Breaker, it's, uh, I don't know, when it gets weak, it does more damage. No, no, no duck. But Bat. Probably should have, well, no, I think the level 3 Bat is more important right now. And an Octopus is probably better than a Blowfish now. Because the Blowfish has gotten, like, zero support, and it's only, like, minus a few stats that are going to get remedied by the poodle and then we'll put the octopus up front and he'll be just be big enough off the rip. Love that. Beautiful trade. And we're absolutely going to demolish this squad. 
I, yeah, so I, th I think we're safe to dump the blowfish. Well, let's see what we get off level. Yeah. Octopus. Octopus. Save the chocolate. Yeah. This is good. This squad is cooking, I gotta say. And honestly, we, we didn't really have too much too much doubt on this run, because we've been, uh, oh, your rat only summoning one, haha, <laughs> you only get a 3-3 three, three buff? Uh-oh. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're gonna, we're gonna win this one. And we're not even gonna get, like, a... We've already gotten the level 3 bat win. Leveling the octopus is great. Um... And, I mean, hey, if we lose this, maybe we can... Go for a level 3 <laughs> something else? I don't know. I don't think we're gonna lose this. We're like, it's kind of early to run into like the big 50-50 squads, so I'm like really not concerned. Like look, these squads are tiny. This is, this is beautiful. Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm chaining, I'm chaining! Oh, oh, I am still haven't attacked! Oh my god! <laughs> Uh-oh, now yeah, we're still fine. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what a beautiful, beautiful 10 piece. Oh, well, thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next Super Auto Pets video. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe to support our aspirations to become the two best trapeze artists in Tennessee.